but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Kellogg was... Let's just say he was more complex than you might think. After what he's done? I'm surprised to hear you say that. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? This really is a matter of importance. Uh, are you following? This really is a matter of importance. I hope you're not too overwhelmed. So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us.
But, Director, why you? I was the most qualified for the position, obviously. I've lived my life within these walls, dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father, he never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was, I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next.
this a clean floor? Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Excuse me, doctor. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. No argument here. Nice to meet someone who isn't obsessed with replacing people with machines. I've been saying for years that we're too reliant on these synths. But nobody wants to listen. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Greetings, Cleo. Welcome to the Institute, ma'am. Hey there. It's an honor to meet you, ma'am. Carry on, ma'am. Nothing to report, ma'am. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial, then. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. Hey there. Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on you. No hurry, though. After what I've been through, a checkup is probably a good idea. I should think so. Who knows what you might have been exposed to up there. How about you take some time to get comfortable, learn the lay of the land and such. In the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup when you're good and ready. Take care of yourself, so I don't have to. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase and three? Remember to you know I can't talk about that. You experience in the elite. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. You know the protocol, sir. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. Have you had time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274? Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at war. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity?
nice. Yes. I think I can pick this. Lock's really strong.
Sweet. Engaging. Got it. Nice.
Yes. Thank you. 